Um, but you know, I'm glad that we could have this, you know, really respectful and productive conversation. And I feel like we both came out of this a little bit more understandings. You teach me and I'll teach you. Hey, you know what? That's, that's one way to put it. I mean, that, that was a pretty good way to, to explain it. Yeah. <laughs> you serious? What's going on, Brews? I just want to remind all of you that I will be giving away this Dragonite V Sword and Shield Alt Art PSA 9 on Halloween, courtesy of Valley Wide Sports Cards, Christian Dale. Uh, okay, so Rock Sandy and Jason Page, the voice of a generation. That intro that you just saw, that was, that was Rock Sandy, good friend of mine. He interviewed the voice of a generation, the guy who sings the Pokemon theme song. And uh, if you like Pokemon cards and Pokemon content, I think you should check it out. So I will link it in the description of this video below. Guys, real quick, from Moonbryon. Moonbryon's over $1,000, guys. Van Gogh Pikachu to the moon, guys. Snorlax stamp promo to the moon, guys. Charizard. Everything. Everything from 151. Ha half. I'm basically going to show you the set list from 151 today. <laughs> just kidding but real quick guys again i'm giving this beautiful mint nine this is worth like 160 dollars. i'm giving this away okay on halloween to one of you guys but until then leading up to that we're doing the derpy q thing so again leave the derpy write derpy in the comment section be subscribed like and this is a 3,000 subscriber giveaway so if i don't have 3,000 subs i can't give it away i gotta keep it that's what christian said but guys okay so this week's hottest cards again I'm just saying every single popular car that has been printed in the last three years is basically on today's list. I'm I'm being facetious, but not really. All right, let's get into it right now, except let me tell you how we're going to do it. We're going to start out with all the, the Scarlet and Violet 151 cards. We're just going to bang them out. We're going to speed run through all of them because there's a lot, okay? And then we'll get into a handful of Shrouded Fable cards because, yes, there is some Shrouded Fable cards, okay? Then we're going to get into the Sword and Shield Alt Arts. Yeah, Sword and Shield Alt Arts. Then we're going to get into things like Bubble Mew, Magikarp, Tyranitar, and a couple other IRs, all right? And then we will finally finish with Van Gogh Pikachu because that card fucking sucks. All right, let's get in to the hottest cards of the week. I'm definitely not going to be looking at my binder full of waifu. Oh, by the way, I totally forgot to announce last video's uh, DerpyQ winner. Lord Wise Wolf, congratulations. Hit me up on Instagram. You won the second of six limited print run Derpy Qs. Uh, yeah, so Lord, Lord Wise Wolf, hit me up on IG to claim your prize. All right, so Charizard EX SIR, here it is. You must know about it by now. It happened on Monday, so I'm like the last one to talk about this. I'm usually the first one to talk about hot cards. Now, I mean, Charizard literally popped up like a Monday. But here we go. Let's let's bring it to the one month because this thing exploded. Absolutely exploded. I don't even know if I want to tell you guys what I did. The split... Oh, screw it. I'm going to tell you guys. The split second this thing exploded, I sped home from work. And in my head, I was like, all right, what is every store in Phoenix that pre-prices their cards like in a database that probably didn't update it yet? And yeah, I went and found one Charizard for 137 the next day. They were selling them for 240 <laughs> so yeah i came up anyway sorry so it hit a, hit a, hit a total uh, a high of 223 it is of course cooled off a little this is highly expected you don't just constantly go up you go down a little it's what you do after you go down a little that matters but what we have here is 197.88 for charizard chonky boy from scarlet and violet 151 the greatest set ever created ever conceived by man and yeah, um, so yeah, I mean, again, it lost 20, 25 bucks off the top, but it shot up, um, you know, 90 bucks. Well, now it's up 60 or 70. But uh, but yeah, guys, we have so many cars to look at. I'm not going to get in the graph. I'm not going to get in the sales. I'm not going to look into if it's manipulation or buyout or this and that. What I will tell you right here and now is that last week I did a uh, surging spark set preview and the future of Pokemon. Um we're experiencing the beginnings, all the machinations of a bubble, a very strong bubble. The amount of signs left and right that Pokemon, like literally Rudy from Alpha Investments is even shitting himself. And that guy owns like an entire warehouse of pallets of Pokemon cards. All I'm saying is next year, a month, a year and three months from now is the 30th anniversary in generation 10. 
the amount of hype, the amount of value, the amount of things that are selling out, skyrocketing in price, we are absolutely on the precipice of a massive, in my opinion, well, big Pokemon bubble leading into 30th anniversary. And all the hints are showing themselves early as hell. Like we're still a year away and things are popping off right now, including this Blastoise. Blastoise CX SIR. Look at that. Blastoise is 70 bucks now. All right, I'm going to start speeding it up a little. So Blastoise is 70 bucks. Oh my gosh, look at that. It was 55, now it's 70. There, that's about the extent of how we'll do this. Maybe I'll look at the one month chart, but look at that. Everything is a half pipe, okay? If it's 151, it just, it looks like a half pipe. All right, what's next? What do you think is next? Venusaur, look at Venusaur. That's a sketchy looking half pipe. There it is, that's a better looking half pipe. So Venusaur was 40, 48, 49. Now Venusaur is $71. And again, guys, these are all this week's, the theme of this week is massive price hikes. All these cards are massive. These are not little, little moves. This is Charizard Illustration Rare. This is $44.77. Yes, all times high. And that, okay, sorry, it's $46.70 on the actual market price. There it is, $46.72 for Charmander IR, guys. Charmander. Who else? Who we got next? Who we got next? Oh, the best full art ever. Seriously, the best full art ever. This guy, let's do the one year on him because he's been around here before. So yeah, so he's up to like what, 30, 39 bucks? And well, now he's at 40. Even full art is already boy, not so chonky boy. I mean, he's, he's fit, he's thick. He's like thick, but he's in shape thick. He's like, he's not like the SIR. He's in very good shape. He's just like big boned for sure. But he's also $40.62 at all time. Hi, all right, let's keep it going. I do have a lot of cards to cover. Plus, I want to say a little something, something at the end. All right, Squirtle. 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 36 bucks. Look at the one month. All these charts. Like, if you like charts going up and to the right and Pokemon, God, this this is just, you know, get out your Kleenex. Because, look, 30, 37. All right, let's keep going. There's a lot of these, like, War Turtle, Ivysaur. They didn't even make the cut, and they're up, too. Bulbasaur. 3480. There's your one month. There you go. There you go again. 30. It's up eight bucks. It's up 32%. Everything is up at least 32%, guys. This is insane. I've never seen such a bubble. So I'm like everything's going up that's popular right now. But to see so many cars in one set going up together, like we had a similar thing with Paldea Evolve um, just on the heels of the Sword and Shield bubble. We had a little Paldea bubble. And a lot of stuff from Baldea went up together, but not on this scale. Like this 151 bubble right now is like it's it's double what was going on with Paldea, to be honest. Like double or triple the amount of cards. I'm just being serious. Tremeleon, $30 now. Like this is just an embarrassment of popular cards at all time highs. Every just almost every one of these cards except for the alt arts, just assume it's an all time high. Like, all these Scarlet and Violet 151 cards I'm talking about are all all-time highs. Pikachu, 25, oh, 2487 Yeah, market price, 2487 25 bucks. That's an all-time high. Every one of these. Who we got next? I think it's Dragonair, if I remember. Yep, Dragonair. Guess what? Dragonair is $24 now, guys. It is just, I, can, I mean, I was going to say I keep going on and on. We are going to go on and on because it's just going to keep going. I, 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 don't worry. This video will be under 20 minutes, I think. But this again, okay, so there, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was 10 Scarlet and Violet 151 cards that absolutely were truly on this week's hottest cards. And I cut three or four of them off. I didn't put Ivysaur, I didn't put War Turtle, I didn't put Nine Tails. Like, and those were massive, massive growths. All right, now let's real quick speed run right through Shrouded Fable, but I, I just gotta I keep it gotta, gotta keep it on there. Both the energies, okay? Darkness, there's your three month. It is holding so strong. It's all time high is 28. It's 27.44. But you know whatever. Metal energy. Let's look at metal energy. 25. These cards went up and they are they are holding so well. And in fact, metal energy just kind of it went up and then it held and then it went up again. Metal energy has gone up twice. And it's almost, you know, it's looking like it's 
kind of going to be neck and neck with the uh, darkness energy pretty soon. Duskull of all the cards. So I actually did update my last week's hottest cards board, but I decided to do things differently this week just because of the nature of how crazy this video is this week. Um, but when I updated all 30 something cards on that list, Duskull was like one of the only cards that's actually down. Uh, but it's on here because it would have been on the, uh, the big board that I do at the end of the video usually. But yeah, so as you can see here, it was 20 up to 25 and now it's cooled off down to 23. Okay. Is that everything for them? Okay, good. So that was the four the four Shrouded Fable cards. And again, that's all playability related. If it's up and it's Shrouded Fable, it's playability, all right? So Snorlax, this card has been on this week's hottest cards for three weeks in a row, and it just did its biggest leap yet. So Snorlax is basically a $100 card. And this is the, again, Pokemon Center stamped, the ETB from 151. And again, $59.99 is how much these ETBs cost. 94.97 is how much this promo is worth just barely over a year later now guys real quick i'm going to put my little investor bro hat on there is at least three different from stellar crown i think shrouded fable and one other pokemon center etb currently stocked oh and then i think surging sparks is still in stock what i'm here's here's the best here's let me let me be nostalgianomics all right the number one guaranteed investment i can give you as far as advice and everyone will tell you this and everyone will agree is the pokemon center etb pro the the etbs right but i'm not there are people who are like i only want to get the good ones like the snorlax or the i think only some of the pokemon center etbs will do good and then you go on and you see not they're not even all sold out right now what i'm telling you get that shit out of your head Two years from now, every single one of them, Stellar Crown, Shrouded Fable, all of them, I don't care if they're in stock right now or not, all of these Pokemon Center ETBs, here, I'll put a number on it, two years from now, will be $200, okay? All of them. This is the easiest play in collectibles history. If you want a Stellar Crown Pokemon Center ETB or a Surging Sparks ETB Pokemon Center, get it now while it's in stock. These are the most, high, like, we are going into the 30th anniversary, and you could be sitting on these PC ETBs from a year ago, aka right now, going into the 30th anniversary, going into a whole new era. Do you actually think that the Shrouded Fable PC ETB or the Stellar Crown PC ETB is still going to be 60 bucks a year from now? Do you really think that? Like, I'm sorry. Scarlet and Violet Era made it easy on all of us. Invest in the PC ETBs and buy up beautiful artwork and be happy. That's it. That's uh, that's Scarlet and Violet in a nutshell. Seriously, okay? All right, so anyway, sorry, I went on a little rant right there. Uh, Snorlax, $95. Let's go to the next stamped ETB. Uh, Charmander from Obsidian Flames. It's kind of held tight around the 66, 67 ever since it exploded uh, two weeks or what, like a month ago or whatever. I don't know. It's been on my list for like a month now. Uh, but $67, because, yeah, it overtook Snorlax, and then Snorlax said, hell no, and then Snorlax shot the hell up. Shot way up. Like, literally, Snorlax was $100. All right, this one, Pikachu. This entered the list last week, so it's this will be the second week it's on this list. But 37 bucks for the Paldea Evolved stamped ETV. And here, drop down to the one month. But look at that. So 32 and just, pew! The amount of popular cards, popular cards, characters popular artworks sealed products 151 alt arts are going up van gogh pikachu's going up guys i'm just i look at raw cards every day i'm flabbergasted at how many just up and to the right charts i'm looking at this week there are weeks recently where i have trouble finding any hot cards and this was like here's moonbrion by the way look at that chart that's four digits and some cents so moonbrion is 1014 dollars and 72 cents Okay, Moonbrion. Everyone's freaking out about SV151 and Chonky Boy and all this and all that. And meanwhile, in the background, Moonbrion's just like, don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. I don't know why I decided Moonbrion sounds like that. But yeah, so there you go. So just a month ago, it was 900 bucks. It's up 11%. It's cracked four, you know, quadruple digits. Moonbrion. Now let's look at a couple others that aren't near as impressive, but still uptrending. So there's Gengar. Gengar VMAX, that's a three-month. 
So, you know, the three month, it's 300 to 318. The, the chart looks way better. I mean, it's not like a ton. But what you can see is some help. First of all, what you clearly see is support. There's clearly a lot of support here in the 310. What, what would we call it? Yeah, on the 300 to, to 300, all this support. And it's cracked above that into the three almost, yeah, into the 320 range. That That looks, with the amount of upside you have here, the amount of support you have down there in the uptrend you see right here, you should probably go buy a Gengar VMAX probably right now. I'm not going to, but I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Again, 30th, 30th anniversary, you're away. Everything's boiling up, heating up. All right, so here we go right here. Uh, Rayquaza, let me zoom out a little so you can see Rayquaza's recovery. A lot like uh, Gengar VMAX, nice little recovery with a lot of support around the high 300, almost $400 range. And Rayquaza is up to 410, and it's actually cooled off a little. But those three are basically the only three that are showing signs of life, and obviously Umbreon is hanging out on the moon right now. All right, let's go to Bumble Mew. So might as well, you know, here's a Scarlet and Violet altered. <laughs> uh, Mew EX. So is out. There you go. 100 bucks. I think pre-market yeah so pre-market it was over 100 but even before pre-market ended it dropped all the way down to like 80 and then the set came out so this is definitely an all-time high and we don't count the first week in pre-market anyway so mew bubble mew paldean fates that is definitely an all-time high at 103 dollars all right let's keep it. we're actually almost done we only got a few more tabs left charizard from Obsidian Lames. So guess what? It cracked 50 for the first time in forever. So basically, at release, a little a month or two after release. It, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, it slowly trickled down to that $40 range, and it stayed there forever. And then ever... Oh, hold on. Let me go back. So once it went under 50 that was in February. So it hasn't seen $50 since February. And now it's back above 50 So it's as high as it's been since... February of this year for Charizard. Magikarp, Palea reprints, uh, the, that that didn't even happen. I think there's a lot of people that are now coming around saying there wasn't even actually a reprint. It was just a restock slash moving some stuff around. But let's look real quick. I want to do the one year. So here, here's your dip where it went all the way down to 104, and that's as low as it got. And now we're back up to 125. Okay, Magikarp is going to be just fine. I think anyone who is worried about Magikarp being a fluke, you can keep worrying if you'd like, but guess what? I got news for you. IRs are here to stay. IRs are not losing value. They're just not. They, they ain't no trainer galleries. All right, T-Tar again, back up in the 40s. Talked about this last week, but there you go. This was actually a pretty big buyout. Um, all these sales were, of course, these 44 items sold. I already talked about it. It happened over a three-day span, not a one-day span. Um, but yeah, we looked at all the, the we looked at the records last week on TTAR. If yeah, Eevee Twilight Masquerade. Look at that. Eevee shot up big time. Eve is 44 bucks now. Eve is 53 bucks. Okay, went up as high as 55 bucks. Notice all we're talking about is popular Pokemon this entire video. Popular Pokemon and super popular cards from Magikarp, T-Tar, Eevee, Bubble Mew, the Zards, the Umbreon VMAX, and then Deerling. So Deerling, the reason Deerling's on here is not only because it shot up huge, just just exploded all of a sudden, but because it even shot past uh, Sawsbuck. So this entire lifespan of Deerling and Sawsbuck, Deerling has been $2 less than Sawsbuck. Sawsbuck's always been $2 more. Well, Deerling just blew right by Sawsbuck and his double digits. Now Sawsbuck's around 950 or something like that. And Deerling is 1050. So again, I just, I just, I, I saw this and I couldn't leave it off because I was like, what the hell? Uh, yeah, so Deerling, wow. All right, so now should we maybe look at Van Gogh Pikachu? Sure. Okay. Pikachu with gray fell hat. Gray fell hat. Um, I like to look at the one year on this. So here's the one month. As you can see, that's probably the highest up chart. That's even looks even higher than it looks more aggressive than even Charizard SIR. But yeah, so 95 up to 118, you know, 23%. But let's look at this. Point is, you see all this, the hype, the the, the inevitable downfall. 
the Pokemon company, they kept saying they'd only release some at the some event and then more at another event and then more at another event and then more at another event. <laughs> they just mishandled this whole thing so atrociously in so many different ways. Uh, but yeah, so it's all-time low is 83 and now it's back up to basically $120. So uh, yeah, so there you go. Let's just look at this again real quick. Uh, we talked about Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, Charmander, Charizard again, Squirtle, Bulbasaur. These are all some of the most popular Pokemon imaginable. Well, maybe not these guys. But, you know, the, the Shrouded Fable is for the players, okay? Snorlax, Charmander again, Pikachu again, Umbreon's, Gengar's. Like Rayquaza's, Muse again, Charizard again, Magikarp. These are the most popular, like Scarlet and Violet era cards, Eevee, and then Deerling. Then Van Gogh Pikachu. So, yeah. So, anyway, um, like I said, I think the next year and a few months, and who knows, maybe it'll pour, it'll go um, past the 30th anniversary, and it'll be like the next two years is just a crazy fun time. Or I should say chaotic time, because shit gets crazy when way too many people dump into this hobby. Um, but yeah, everything's heating up. Everything's looking good. Uh, it's a good time to be a Pokemon card fan. And it's even better time if you already master setted most of these sets. <laughs> Thank God I decided to start master setting when I did. Whew. Anyway, uh, Halloween. Remember, Dragonite V, Altart. Right, Derpy Q, and I hope you guys have a good weekend, and I will see you on the next one. Deuces.